it's that time again to do a CSS battle. Oh, I like this one a lot. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so what is this? What is this thing? Well, I always see a background gradient. I always see a, ra uh, a, a conic gradient. So, what's it look like? I think I'm inclined today to do this as a border around. First, we start with the border. Okay, here's here's our steps. Margin zero. Border. Border. Solid. And then we need the, the little blue. And then we need border widths. What are our border widths? 50, 20? Nope. 50, 70? Nope. 50, 60. 60, 60. Even better! We actually have a clean 60 pixel border. Boom. Next, background is a conic gradient. Conic gradient, uh, which <clears throat> just for our purposes, I will put it. Uh, okay, so this. Okay, so what I want to do, I believe it's this. So I'm going to try and do that. So the pieces of that are 70% around with the light blue, and then the gold. Uh, at 25%. So, first step, light blue. Second step, gold, zero, zero, 75%. And it's in the middle of the screen. Maybe 100 and then no repeat. So, if I can align this gradient just to be that, then I think I've got it. And then we make the gold transparent so that everything will poke through. All right, so how do we do that? We need to move this guy over. Oh, here's the problem. Position. Position. Uh, so 50% is actually 200 pixels and then percent here is 150 pixels because we're 400 by 300 or three, uh, yeah 400 by 300 so so we need to go slightly less 50 160 165 and then we're too low so 140 135 and now we're too tall is that correct Yes, 50, 60, 70, 75, and then we're too wide, 10, 105, and then we need an at, so we're too far over, 40, no, we're not far over enough, 50, 60. 65, 66, <laughs> 67, 68. So that tells me that, so a lot of times you, you want a third and unfortunately that means it's gonna be 666% and that's not a very good number. That's, that's a use of a lot of characters. But what is, uh, <laughs> uh, what is two thirds of 105? <laughs> it's like 66 pixel, right? 66, 68 pixels, 65 pixels, 70 pixels, 70 pixels, so 70 pixels, and then, <clears throat> can we use a percentage here, 50, 40, hey, that might work. All right, so now, if I've understood this pattern, then when I make this gold be transparent, 
and remove the no repeat, it should match. And it does. So we're happy with that. Now, different approaches for this part. Uh, kind of want to see if we can do a linear gradient. Which would be what? Gold. <laughs> well, it could be gold, dark blue, gold, dark blue, gold. At a six, uh, 60 degree angle, let's say. Yeah, 60 degree angles. And so, okay. So we're gonna stop the second one and say, go 100 pixels. Okay, so there's our angle. We see that poking out. We're going from the bottom corner. So that corner, that angle's wrong. Is it that? Ah, uh, almost. So what's that angle? <laughs> so you see how that's poking is it 36 so let's let's uh we'll play with the numbers if we can get an angle where that's not so bad or that's least bad then this will work if not then no so that's worse better six Three seven. No, I think I think that's probably worse. Mm, questionable. So let's okay. So we'll go to one forty nine. Let's see if that uh, 48, 47, 46, 45, Now we got the blue. So we got the blue poking out. Okay, I think a linear gradient won't work. So, nope. Big noped out. <clears throat> so, what do we do? The issue Okay, uh not too bad. All right, uh, another conic gradient which is Blue gold, blue gold, blue. So that's the that's the blue. Gold. Blue. Comma gold. And we're gonna put that at. Actually, <laughs> so we can see it. <laughs> we we want it to be around this, right? So that it's so that it makes so it's uh, so ideally it would be over this whole portion. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll set it here and see if I can get it there, and then we'll play with the numbers at the end. All right, and then so that I can see it because right now the border is is obstructing me. I'll put it in front. So I'm going to cut. Kill that comma, put that comma back, and that looks uh, awful. It's not correct. Zero, fifty percent, zero, seventy-five percent, and zero. And then, so that's this. That's by default. So fifty. We do basically the same thing we did before. So I would like to move it so that it's roughly covering this. Uh, okay, so we need to move it less far over, 150, okay. And then less high, 100, 120. And then make it taller, 
150, 200, 200, and tall. Okay, so the question is when we do the no repeat, and if we do this diff, are we where we want to be? Yeah, so we are. Uh, okay. So if I remove, so that width is that, what if I do 50 there? Minus 50. Uh, what happens if I just remove these? <laughs> no. Uh, actually, we probably can do percentages. Percentages have this thing where we can have no spaces between them and then they'll work. Okay, so we've got the colors how we want to be underneath. Cut. And then we paste that below. And we have our pattern, I believe. Oh, so looking closely, we might have a little bit of problem. It looks like I have some diff there, but I, I've been wrong about that. Sometimes the, the diff actually is, is fine. It sure looks clean. And as always, if we can't get to 100%, we don't beat ourselves up. Nope, we got it. Okay, so optimization. We minify and we unit replace and we see if there are any other bonus spaces to remove and we submit that's it we did it have a great weekend